I'm Lorraine Candy. And I'm Trish Halpin. We're here with Shiseido to talk about the five things time has taught us. Yes, that's fashion, beauty, health, work and family. So Lorraine, I know you don't have a lot of no. free time between work and your family. <laughs> You've got four children. Yes, it's quite difficult to find time for yourself. But I think sometimes you have to work out with family what you just let go. And, and, and what you make a stand on. Because if you make a stand on everything, it takes up all your time. So you have to learn to step back a little bit when you've got quite a lot of family going on in the room at the same mm. time and fit in with each of their personalities. Because some of them are quick at doing things and others take a very long time. So we sort of plan around it. Mm -hmm. What about you, Trish? Well, um, I've got twins, as you know. Um, they are coming up to 16 years old. It was really hard in the yes. beginning. <laughs> and I think I've I remember. I, I think we should all be really honest about how um, challenging motherhood is. Mm. It really is challenging and we need help and we need to be able to talk about the, the difficult bits as well as the good bits. But ultimately, it has to be the most rewarding thing I've, yeah. I've ever done, I would say. Yeah. And the thing, you know, with this theme of time is the time goes so quickly. I can't believe yes. that you know in yeah. two years potentially my two will be off into the big wide world and um, it all felt like it's gone by in a flash. So beauty um, that's really important to both of us isn't it because not only have we written about it a lot as journalists mm. throughout our careers but as, as women we love spending time with beauty with beautiful skincare products. What's important for you at this stage in your life? I think what's important for me is making sure I'm aware of what's new and what's coming um, that I have all, all the knowledge of the ingredients. And also, I think it's about spending time with yourself, taking care of your skin. It's really important to have that time on your own and that space to look at how your skin is developing, how it's changing, and getting the right products for that. Mm. And what I think about that you, means Trish? investing, doesn't it? Investing in products. Mm. Um, for me, it's really at this stage in life, we spoke to a dermatologist who told us that it's never too late to start looking after your, your mm. skin, but you do need to address the things that at this age that, um, you know, fine lines, dry skin. And I think that requires a really good, rich, beautiful moisturizing cream that's worth investing in. And and also um, serum, that's one of my non-negotiables these days. Non-negotiable. Non-negotiable, whereas sort of in like the past... Like my hobnob biscuits. Like hobnob yeah. biscuits. Um, in the past, I might dabble with a serum every now and then, but I really notice the difference if mm. I don't use one. My skin just doesn't feel as kind of supple and soft, and I definitely think I notice the fine lines more if I'm not using one. And what about health? What have you learned about health over the years? It's been a bit of a journey, health over the years. I've dipped in and out of exercise, but I think when you get older, it's really important exercise. It's really important physically, but it's really important mentally. And one of my things is that you never regret doing exercise. Sometimes when I'm like going to the gym or I've booked in for a class, I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered to go. If I go, I'm always like, I'm so glad I did that. So I never, ever regret doing exercise. I don't think it's, it's possible to regret it because you get such a good feeling from it. So Trish, talk to me about the, what they call the work-life balance then, how you, how important mm. your career is to you. Yeah, no, my career has been really important to me and I've been really lucky, as we both have really, having been magazine editors, of, of doing something that we really love. And it's that saying, mm. isn't it? If you, if you do something you really love, you never do a day's work because you just love being there. Um, and I think one of my, my things that I've learnt during the time that I've been um, been in my career working is about it's about people really and as a manager finding I always think I've got to find brilliant people and then let them shine let them do their thing and just be there kind of to support yeah. them along the way what about you if you get stressed about everything it will take up all your time and you won't be able to enjoy your actual job because I'm very much like you I've I have loved every day of every mm. job I've done and I've I've done them through passion and love of being I've been incredibly That's lucky. Let's not say they haven't been exhausting but <laughs> yes, still very stressful. Them. We love them but they're yeah, exhausting. I'm, I think the other thing is when you have children nothing is as important as your children so you get a real sense of perspective Maybe the on dog. your job. Maybe the dog. Or the dog, yeah. <laughs> that menace yeah. The dog, yes. But nothing's that important yeah. and as long as they're okay then everything else you can kind of mm. deal with. We were just grateful when they were tiny babies that we made it to the end of the day and no one had lost a limb yeah. uh, or fallen out yeah, of anything. Yeah, you just take or, it day by day, yeah, don't exactly. you? You have to take it day by day. The main thing that I've learned is buy well and buy less. So all the kind of cheap and cheerful stuff that I've bought over the years, 
kind of wear it a few times and then get fed up with it and chuck it out or put it in the wash by mistake. And the things that really lasted for me have been some beautiful kind of well-cut trousers, suits, really nice dresses. Things and they're you invested still up in. in the wardrobe. And then I've got one particular trouser suit that's over 20 years old, which I got when I first became editor of Red. And I still wear it now. So that's kind of one of my fashion life lessons. So if you're going to buy, buy well. Yeah, what about yeah. you? Very valuable piece of information on the fashion front is silver shoes go with everything. Uh -huh. Literally like everything. Those very pair yeah, no, they do. They go with everything. <laughs> Just buy a pair because wherever yeah. you are, whatever you do, they go with everything. Yeah.